The Children's Adventure Garden at the Dallas Arboretum will open in the spring of 2013. Enjoy now an animated glimpse into this special garden and imagine the children's excitement in what promises to be a truly magical experience. We enter through the beautiful gates and into the entry plaza, which is an orientation area with shaded seating for over 200 people. Water is the integrating theme of this garden, which focuses on earth, life, and environmental sciences. The entry plaza overlooks a 20-foot wide waterfall and the first breathtaking view of the entire garden. Right beside the entry plaza is the first adventure garden for infants and toddlers, playing in nature with nature. There is a nine-foot ant sculpture to climb on and a plant petting zoo. Along the wooded trail is a giant mockingbird nest, a treehouse, and a crawl-through log. The garden's potting shed is a place to pretend flower and vegetable gardening and leads children to Turtle Creek with turtle eggs to climb in. Next we move to Plants Are Alive, a 12,200 square foot gallery aimed at kindergartners to second graders. You are entering a Honey, I Shrunk the Kids world, where everything is giant-sized. In the center is the 15-foot exhibit, The Works, which demonstrates how photosynthesis works. There are 12 interactive exhibits in this gallery and a large teaching station to present a focused program. The message is, plants are alive, have parts, each with its own job, and all working together to survive and thrive. This is the beginning of systems theory. On to the kaleidoscope the world of patterns, shapes, and structures, and one of the most beautiful of the learning galleries. This gallery is the integration of math, science, and art. Each area has a different focus, such as the Fibonacci sequence, geometry, symmetry, and plant art. Perfect for the fourth through sixth graders, and younger children will enjoy it too. Back up the rise to the Discovery Center and Plaza. The Discovery Center is a 9,500 square foot building. Inside the center is a plant lab designed as a soda fountain, a soil lab, a 3D mini theater, and many more exhibits where children will explore nature using the latest in technology and the tools of science. The plaza outside the Discovery Center is a beautiful gathering place to enjoy the garden and the spectacular view. Above the center is the lovely rooftop garden, the Oasis. It has a sculptural shade structure, a green roof demonstration garden, and floral gardens to learn about the adaptations of flowers. A wonderful place for groups to gather and enjoy the view. Moving along the Cascades, the donor wall is seen next, with a waterfall flowing into a pool and cascading down the incline. Paths are divided by mini gardens all along the way. Next is the Habitat Learning Gallery, with a 32-foot fabricated tree and an adventure bridge and canopy walk. The teaching area is an eagle's nest on the ground. The focus in this gallery is to show the interconnections between people, plants, and animals. Habitats includes a 500-foot trail over streams and through the woodland area, 
with exhibits along the way and a bird's eye view of who lives in the treetops. The Texas Skywalk is 240 feet long and 9 feet wide, providing a unique treetop walkway from the entrance to the energy tower. Back up the hill, we are in the incredible edible garden. It has a large picnic area for all ages with interactive exhibits and planting beds of vegetables and grains that help our urban children understand that their food comes from plants. There is a cereal garden and multicultural garden which our diverse population can identify with. Older children will learn that food plants are a commodity and will engage in exhibits about the many aspects of economic botany. A circular maze is next, and it also has an educational focus. Answer the questions along the way correctly, and you will solve the maze. The maze has removable panels to change the difficulty level for different ages, and many fanciful stops along the way, like dance chimes and periscopes. We are off to living cycles, where children learn about the circle of life. Through the living tunnel, you see the video hedge with its time-lapse photography and large interactive exhibits on metamorphosis with live hatching chambers. There are also many fascinating exhibits on pollination and seed dispersal. Next is Earth Cycles, where children learn about weathering and erosion using a large stream table. There is a cave to learn about stalactites and stalagmites, an exhibit on plate tectonics and continental drift, water cycles and weather cycles. Now to a beautiful view of the skywalk and on to the Pure Energy Gallery, where children investigate energy from the natural sources of wind, sun and water and how we transform them into electricity. Each island is devoted to one source, with many hands-on exhibits including botanical wind turbines, an Archimedes screw, and a solar tree whose leaves are photovoltaic cells. The Full Acre Wetlands Gallery immerses children in a completely different ecosystem, teaching the value of wetlands. It has a carnivorous bog, boardwalks through grass tunnels, a wildlife blind, and an island exploration station where children will do aquatic studies. The Arboretum currently has nearly 700,000 visitors annually and is expected to grow to over 1 million with the opening of the Rory Myers Children's Adventure Garden in 2013.